this is absurd. How did he buy a first-class round-trip ticket to Salzburg when the crime occurred? Because I pay him for doing errands for me. He could use his money however he feels fit. He's a big boy now. I admit, I don't know how we could prove that Alicia... Call the airline. You can use the plane ticket reference number. Call the airline. They should be able to check the payment. I bet you it was paid by Alicia Cole, credit card. There's no way Jason would have that much cash to buy a first-class ticket. He obviously stole my credit card. So, you admit that your card was used to make the purchase. I... I didn't say that. If the card is still active, I doubt that he stole it. The credit card company would have notified you for making a large purchase, and you would have canceled it. How large is this purchase? Thousands of dollars, Judge. Hmm. Miss Cole, if this was a court of law and the police were asking for probable cause, I'd be hard-pressed not to allow it. Do you have anything to say? I told him to get rid of those tickets. You know, Your Honor, your son is a real idiot. Truly, a world-class moron. He couldn't even follow simple instructions. I would have had better luck writing them in crayon. And this? Seriously? This is the kind of stuff I have to deal with? I went to law school. I have three degrees. And now I have an arsonist, two ghost hunters, a wannabe detective, and her assistant. Hey, what? No! Trying to screw up my plans. All the people you pointed out are the reason you're going down. No. The reason I am going down is that this stupid little town is stuck in the past. Oh, my great-great-great-great-grandmother was accused as a witch. I want repayment because I'm lazy. She loved me so much that I want this disgusting ruin of a house for free so I can run my luminous vegan tea grocery store. That is what pathetic looks like. <laughs> a bunch of whining, moaning little people whose worldview is infinitesimally small. Why, Alicia? Why? Because I wanted to do something for this town. I care about Salem more than all the Olivia's and Tegan's and Lauren's combined. I care the most. We should have leveled that old house a long time ago and built new houses. With all that land, we could have a real community here. We could bring in new business that isn't completely reliant on stupid, scary stuff. I am talking about economic development on a level which Salem has never even seen. And who would be the owner of these new houses? Ah. Well, after knowing this case inside out, it wouldn't be hard for me to get the land out of the grasp of the state. After all I've done for this community, some recompense is in order. So, you're saying you poisoned Lauren so you could build and own a housing complex? <laughs> Do you realize how much money is in real estate? And give me a break. I was just scaring her. I told you I know about biology. She was never in any real danger. Alicia, I saw the ergot in the water valve. There is absolutely no way you could control the dosage that Lauren ingested. You could have done irreparable damage. So what? I live here. I work here. I am a member of this community. This town needs me. No, it doesn't. I already have the papers, and I am taking them to the state office. And none of you are going to stop me. Because you can't prove anything. There's no legal heir to the Hathorn estate. And none of the evidence Detective Girl brought up will stick. So you admit to all of it? Yes. Now get out of my way. The police are on their way. You can wait here for them to arrive. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I only wanted to make Salem... This is highly disturbing. I am shocked. Very shocked at what has occurred here. Miss Cole will be held accountable for her crimes. I will make sure of it. But as much as it pains me to admit, she is right. We do not have a legal heir. Yes, we do. According to the Book of Apologies and Francis Tuttle's will, Lauren Holt is the legal owner of the Hathorne House estate. The will makes it clear that Lauren is the sole inheritor of the estate, no one else. However, 
In the best interest of all parties, perhaps there could be a way to erect a memorial for the accused witches. That is something that you, Your Honor, would have to facilitate. Of course. Okay. Well, what about the Hathorn House fire? No one forgave me when I made a mistake. Break the cycle, right? May had nothing to do with the fire. You're sure? How do you know? Because I have a confession from the person who did. Really? Tegan Perry is responsible for the fire. But it was an accident. An accident? Yes. Tegan went looking for the will and accidentally knocked a candle over inside the house. The fire grew out of control. I questioned her myself. I believe her. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. Will Tegan give us the same testimony? Yes. I believe so. Well... The house is going to be demolished anyway. And while I wish I could give out punishment for withholding information, I suppose we can keep this at a misdemeanor level. Perhaps a fine, some community service. Ugh, what a mess. This has been a very tough time for everyone. I think the damage has been done. Agreed, but... Judge, did you ever interview May? Get a statement from her? Anything on record? Well, not exactly. So you just assumed she was guilty of the crime without even speaking with her? A case needed to be built. There was no case, because you never needed to make one. You thought she was guilty, and so you treated her accordingly. Miss True, I ask that in this office you treat me with respect. You deserve as much respect as I'm currently giving you, Judge. Nancy, maybe we should... You made this poor girl's life a living nightmare because of something she did when she was young. She was a kid, Your Honor. Her entire life molded and built and destroyed by an event she barely remembers. Can you imagine what that does to someone? Can you imagine what that does to her family? To her friends? Well, that is a bit unfair. You know, this town has a history of judges behaving without sound jurisprudence. And I would expect that after 300 years, you would be able to right that wrong. <sighs> Perhaps. You have a point. But my concerns are not unfounded. You think Jason is a screw-up now? What would have happened if he had been friends with her? He is friends with her, Judge. What? How's that possible? I... I thought at least I would know what... A judge is supposed to judge people on their actions alone, not the people they call their friends. I just hope you remember that when you sentence Jason, because his crimes aren't imagined. They're real, and they deserve real punishment. I, uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. For what? We always promised that a secret was the most important thing in the world, and we would never break it. And I did. You saved my life. If Nancy hadn't found me, well... <clears throat> I'm going to be gone for a while. I really screwed up. Still, I know who you are. There's a good person hidden below this pretty boy exterior. Come on. You may go away, but that good part never will. Yeah? Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah. Come on. Like is a strong word, but extremely interesting is completely appropriate. Have a look at this. What? A ghost on a Johnny cake? Did this appear on its own? Did you find a ghost chef? <laughs> no, silly. I made it. For you. Oh, uh, okay. I guess ghosts wouldn't really appear on your dinner. Thanks. Nancy, so glad you're here. Of course. I wouldn't miss the party after all we went through. Hey. Shouldn't you ask her? You know, the thing we talked about. Oh, yeah, right. So, um, Nancy, the thing we talked about before? Have you thought about it? Starting a detective agency, I mean. 
The Hardys and Drew Detective Agency. Has a nice ring to it, no? Guys, I don't know. Oh, sorry, your name can be placed first, of course. If that helps persuade you. I'm gonna have to think about it. For me? Really? That's, um, so nice of you. I'll eat it right away. No need to rush. Just thought you could enjoy a snack in between ghost busting. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, working with Joe can be a handful sometimes, but there's always something fun going on at least. Full of surprises. You know, I used to love walking the forest around Salem as a kid. Pretend it was my home. After I moved in with Francis, I would walk the grounds of the estate and find peace among the trees. Yes, it brings back some good memories. Thank you. Hey there. How are you holding up? I can't believe Alicia would do this. I trusted her, you know? Things would have been really bad if you hadn't exposed her for who she is. I'm sorry. You couldn't have known. Did the judge have a chance to talk to you about the house? It is yours, of course. But maybe it would be fitting to have a memorial for the accused butchers there? The estate has a lot of ground. And it would be nice to have a memorial to remind us of the injustices that took place here. But they never happen. Ever. I'll think about it and talk to the AW organization about what they prefer. That's what I do. I'm glad you see it that way. <laughs> Did you make this for me? Yep. And look, it's got a witch on it. Oh, how fitting! A witch cake for the resident witch! Aren't you just the sweetest? So thoughtful. You know, seeing this, I think you might have some magical energy flowing through you. With enough flair and a touch of charisma, you could really go a long way as a witch. <laughs> Thank you, but I've got my career goals set a little differently. Enjoy the food. I don't like it. I thought a pirate would be right up your alley. Oh, wow. It is a pirate. I didn't even notice. I mean, sure. Yeah, it looks good, I guess. Feel free to have at it. Sure. Thanks. I never thought I'd say this, but... Just a bit. Of course. The celebration party is the best part of most cases. No. Well, yes. Sure. But I meant to say. I still don't understand why you went out of your way to be me first. It's like I feel like a jerk for not talking to you when you first came here. I understand things have been tough for you. Please, don't worry about it. I'm just happy I was able to help. You are. For sure. I'm going to art school. I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm really excited and nervous. I've never really left Salem before. And hey, maybe we'll meet again sometime. Yeah, that wouldn't be the worst, I guess.
to you. A friend? Who likes cats? Oh. Huh. There's actually a cat on here. <laughs> it is kind of nice of you. Not unexpected, but still. Now please, stop looking at me like that before I barf from all your positive friendship energy. told me. 200 hours community service. I don't do that already, though. What was that exhibit you were planning? Which street art? <laughs> Who's the artist? I think you know her. Do you ever feel... Remorse for not sticking up for my sister? You will probably be dealing with that for the rest of my life. It doesn't hate me nearly enough for what I put her through. And from the bottom of my heart, She doesn't think I'm a computer. Lauren deserves that. She does. You sound genuine. Don't be so surprised. She's had a tough life too, you know. I'm not mad at her. I hope that maybe she will see eye to eye with you someday. You did set fire to her house. Yeah, there is that. It hasn't all been crime and punishment, though. We had so many great memories. And one moment of shame. I told you. I would tell myself we were all kids, but I was old enough to know better. And I almost did it again. She says she forgives me, but we still have a lot to make up for. We all do. We are all going to help each other now. Wow! So cute. I love that. Did you really make this for me? <laughs> I thought you'd like it. I really do. We always used to carve pumpkins at home for Halloween when we were kids. <laughs> this brings back my mind. Thank you. So, ready to leave yet? But I just got here. Not the house. Salem. You always wrap up your cases in a nice bow. You run off for the next one the day after, don't you? This time, I might actually take that vacation. Does it sound like your style? But if you say so. Look, we had our moments during the past few days. In the end, you cleared May's name. So thanks. You're welcome. It was my pleasure to help. Your attitude just kills me. You did get Tegan off the hook too, though. I hate to admit it, but for a moment, I actually felt happy I called you here. Don't get used to it. I can handle cases on my own. And I've just emptied your praise quota for the coming year. <laughs> I know you can. I'll see you around. Think about the detective agency. It was great working with you again. Let us know what you think about the detective agency. And who do we have here? If it isn't the insightful red-headed witch herself. I thought you were the only real witch around here. There's always room for another witch in the coven, Nancy Drew. And I have to say, someone with your magical insights, clairvoyance, even, would make a great fit. I have always wanted to ride on a broom. Would make it easier to get an overview of crime scenes. 
really, thank you for bringing us all together again. It feels like ages since I was able to talk openly with Lauren. It's great to finally have the curse from that night lifted. Thank you. I got it. Ready? Austria. Yeah, I know I was just there, but I didn't really get to enjoy it much. I feel like there's a lot more exploring left to do there. Did you know Schönbrunn Palace has 1,440 rooms? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you can stay there. I'm sure we could find something close by. Yes, I promise. No cases this time. Just the two of us.